you'll take the snow. I don't know. I think it's, snow is better. Still yeah. better looking, that's for sure. Better looking, for mm -hmm. sure. In fact, things that are better looking, clouds. They fascinate us. That's why we bring you every month the cloud of the month. Yeah, the choice for April is an example of a mama cloud. These are some of the most alien looking clouds that nature provides us. And Gavin Peter Pini, founder of the Cloud Appreciation Society, joins us now live from Somerset, England. Good morning to you, Gavin. Thanks for joining us. And tell us about these weird looking clouds and why they're called mamas. Well, people often know these clouds as mamatus. It's the other name for them. But the official term, the one that the World Meteorological Organization use, uh, is mama. And that comes from the Latin for udder. Uh, and you can see why. I mean, these are made of these, have these amazing kind of pouches that hang from the underside of a cloud layer. All right, now, Gavin, these aren't uh, one of the main cloud types, are they? Can you talk to us about that? Yeah, sure. So, um, you know, there are 10 main cloud types, ones like Cumulus and Cirrus and Cumulonimbus. But this isn't one of those. It's what's known as a supplementary feature. And that means it's kind of uh, a feature that can appear on one of the main cloud types. Uh, so sometimes when there's a layer of cloud, a, a cloud is, a, is in a layer form, you can sometimes see this in one region hanging, these pouches hanging from underneath the cloud. Let's talk about those hanging clouds because, again, sometimes these clouds can look like something like from the movie Independence Day. So at what point, what stage do these clouds become really dramatic looking? Well, the most dramatic and the most kind of arresting examples of mama clouds are associated with storm systems. And it's the way that a storm cloud spreads out at the top uh, in that kind of mushroom formation, you can get this anvil forming. And on the underside of the anvil is where you sometimes see these dramatic mama or mamatus clouds. The more uh, serious the storm, the larger the storm, the more dramatic looking the mamatus or mama clouds are. But people often think that this is actually a sign that there's a tornado. That, that's not entirely accurate. Well, like I say, it's associated with a storm. But here's the thing. The formation, which is still really not fully understood for these, um, these supplementary features, the, the formation seems to be associated with the back of the storm. So as the storm is traveling along, if you see a sky filled with these mama clouds in it, you think, my word, there's some crazy weather going on. But actually, the fact is, there is crazy weather, but it's probably pasture. The crazy weather is going over your neighboring town. All right, great information. That's uh, Gavin Peter Penny from the Cloud Appreciation Society. Thanks for joining us again this morning from Somerset, England. That's, those are some of the most photogenic yeah. clouds you can see, too. And as he mentioned, a lot of times you get a good shot of them as they're moving out. So if you're shooting across it, you also see the sunset. Uh, hashtag no filter. Yeah, and again, there's you can another picture of him here. So the good news is, is after the hard part of the worst part of the storm has passed you by so it's kind of safer and again like you mentioned you sometimes have the, the clouds the shadows so it's a, a great time to take cool the picture. Stuff. all right parts of the country still